What's happening, Lead Eagles? Hey, my name is John, and I'm with Bang Bang Leads. And I noticed that John Webb posted something uh, the other day in the group uh, about wondering if anybody had a final expense telephone sales script. So, um, man, I love helping agents. We create leads. I don't know if anyone's seen the post that uh, Justin, the owner moderator of this group, put in here, but our company uh, makes final expense leads. And I thought I would just jump in here and help because what I like doing more than making leads is helping agents succeed when they get our leads into converting them into um, sales calls or appointments. And then obviously converting them into applications and, and uh, getting paid, yo, right? Like that was our thing. I no longer have agents. Um, like I'm not training them. I don't have a group of agents or an agency. Um, but man, when I did, that was our goal. Like we had to get somebody like paid fast, like super fast, like from no license to a paycheck in like a week, if we could, like that, that was just it. Like they came to us for help. So we wanted to help them. So I've got a script and I love helping people. Um, if you want to ask Justin first to, to kind of vet me and make sure I'm not like so probably trying to pick you off, go ahead and shoot him a message. Feel free to shoot me a message or just post it on this. But I'm just going to go through my script real quick that we have kind of like fine-tuned over the years. Actually, I'm 45. I've been in this business for about 20 years. Um, but this is what worked for us and we had great success. And if you've never used a script, don't let the first person that hears you read this be a lead that you paid for. That would be a disaster. It'd be kind of like being up to the plate and the World Series and it's the bottom of the ninth and you've got one strike left and you've never tried to swing the bat before. Like go get some practice, call some friends, call some family, get in touch with some other agents in this group. I mean, heck, if, heck, if you guys want to get together and do like a virtual dial session or training, I'm up for it. If Justin and the group's cool for it, um, call me if you want some, if you want to like, just try it out on somebody several times so you can get your flow down, record yourself. Like we used to tell agents and, and beg them to please just read the script, push record on your iPhone and your Android, and just listen to what you sound like. Like, just listen and don't stray from the script. Even if you've been doing it, even if you made a thousand phone calls, and I know some of you in here probably don't call, you just door knock. And I get that. A lot of the people that buy our leads never call them. As a matter of fact, they ask us if they would be cheaper if they didn't have a phone number on them. Um, so here's how it would go if I was calling a final expense lead. And I don't care if it's from Facebook, um, if they filled it out from a website because they Google searched it, if it was a direct mail lead, if it was a telemarketing lead. This is what we say. We treat them all the same. In their mind, at some point in time, they were interested in this, and they're one of the few people in our world, in our in our ecosystem, in the country that realizes they need to take care of this. That five thousand bucks, ten thousand bucks, fifteen, twenty thousand bucks is a life changing thing to their family if they got the cash versus having to put it on a credit card or have to finance it through the funeral home or what have you. So. I'm just, I'm going to read through this so you understand what these blanks and stuff mean. Um, if you see stuff in italics and what have you, or these things in parentheses, it's just kind of where we put some notes in here to help people. So um, I'm going to use the name Ray as the lead that I'm calling. My name's John. So if you're wondering what stuff's coming up, but just read through this on your own and just make it flow. So like, here I go. So ring, ring. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray, this is John from the Senior Benefit Center. I'm just getting back to you about that form that you sent in requesting information on that state approved final expense program. My simple job is to get that information that you requested out to you. And I wasn't sure what time do you normally get home from work tomorrow and Friday? And I say that because depending on the day of the week, you may be calling on a Monday. So what time do you typically get home on Tuesday and Wednesday? Right. So I'm just explaining that. Some people would call and be like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just leaving those blanks. Just fill in the blank. Right. If you're so shell shocked on dialing that you're just freeze up and pray. Like I used to have an agent that would pray that nobody answered the phone. They were so scared to, that somebody was going to answer the phone that they weren't going to know what to do. Hey, um, and I set a timer for five minutes, so I wouldn't let this go too long. So it's getting ready to beep. So I'm going to reset it. Um, and I'm going to try to finish this in 10. So if you're so freaked out that you're praying to God or whoever that somebody doesn't answer the phone, just stick to the script. So. Um, and just remember, slow down. I don't, I'm 45. My kids come at me while I'm doing something with dad. Da, 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 da. I turn to them, I look at them, I smile, and I say, slow down. Now tell me what you were trying to ask me, right? So you're hitting people who they may have filled this out while they were sitting on the couch watching TV, and you're calling them and they're standing in line at Walmart, or worse, they're sitting in the bathroom. <laughs> so slow down. 
they're going to think you're a telemarketer. You just got to let them know that you're not. So let's back up to this. So my simple job is to get the information that you requested out to you. And I wasn't sure. What time do you normally get home from work tomorrow on Wednesday, depending on the day? Is there any reason you wouldn't be home tomorrow about, say, 11, 1130? Great. I could get this information out to you. Okay. Well, what I do is I'm going to go ahead and put you down for Tuesday about 1130. Now, you didn't put down a spouse or significant other on the form. Is there one in the home? Like, do you have a spouse, significant other, partner, whatever word makes you feel comfy? Great. Is your house easy to find on GPS? Like somebody gave me an address once. I put it in my phone and it told me to turn right into a lake or a cornfield or a river. Just if you can get them to laugh, you win. The point here is to let them know that I'm coming over. I mean, my mindset, I'm coming. I'm just being nice and I'm calling first. Like I'm coming over. Uh, okay, awesome. Well, write down that time so you don't forget, hey, do me a favor, Ray, or Mr. Jones, or whatever you feel comfortable calling by the last name. Hey, Mr. Jones, Ray, do me a favor. Let Betty, Sue, Larry, whatever, let them know that I'm coming over tomorrow about 530. Please don't let me be the first person that lets them know a complete stranger is going to be banging on the door. Like, we both don't need to be sleeping on the couch, right? Try to get them to laugh. Like, just get the flow down. I know that's not on the script. Once you get more comfortable, you can just have fun with it. Just act like you're talking to one of your buddies or something. So, a few highlights. Like, if people hit you, one, slow down and say your first name. Slow down when you say it down. Like, hey, Ray, my name is John. Who's this? My name's John. And I'm getting back to you. If somebody hits you with a question, repeat it, acknowledge it, and move on. Don't. Don't ignore if somebody says, take me off that list. Oh, you want me to take you off this list? Man, that's exactly why I'm calling. Um, let, let's move on to these so I can stick to it. So if two people are on the lead, ask them what time. Normally on a Facebook lead or some type of internet lead, whether it's a Google or a landing page, you won't get both just because of the way things are set up. Um, if they are older and they ask, uh, if they're still, if they, oh, sometimes if you ask them what time they don't work, they'll just laugh because they're retired. That's cool. Older leads to me, that's six months or older. We used to call leads that were two, three, four, five, ten year old, 10 years old. I didn't care at some point in time if they fill out a form, I knew they were interested. We would get back with them. Um, don't worry about this telemarketing stuff. We got tons of stuff. We can help speed leads to holler if you want anything. This is specifically about people filling out a form for like a Facebook lead is what this little, um, video was for. You don't remember <laughs> Mr. Jones. I don't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. Hey, but anyway, the reason for my call is I just need to get this information out to you, right? Acknowledge it. Get them to laugh. Oh, on Thursdays you go to Mars and get a brain transplant. Man, that is freaking awesome. Well, typically speaking, when you get back from Mars and your brain transplant, what time is it? Like just stinking hit them. Oh, you're busy or you work real late. Oh, well, what's the latest possible time you could meet me tomorrow? Oh, you already took care of that. Man, that is awesome. That's going to make my job so much easier. Please don't tell my boss. I'll be in and out. I'll get you off the list. You want us to quit calling, right? <laughs> me too. My boss has got me working at seven o'clock on Wednesday, the night before Thanksgiving. I can't wait to get you off this list. Awesome. So what time do you say you'd be home again tomorrow? So when you're dialing the phone, Here's some tips. If you talk to three people, like if you legit talk to three people on a, three different leads, hang up, get some help if you haven't set an appointment. Call me, call someone that's a friend, call a family member, call an upline manager, get some help. You just need some tweaking. Let it ring four times, hang up, dial again. Let it ring four times, hang up, dial again. We set 50% of our appointments on that third ring. If you don't know what I'm talking about, drop me a note in here, uh, hit me with a direct message, I'll explain it. Don't leave messages, don't text. Don't email. Don't do any of that stuff. Schedule blocks of time. Track your calls. Set up a calendar. Have someone that can help you hold each other accountable. Hey, nobody can beat anyone that will never give up. Like So I hope this helped. It's about 10 minutes. My timer's getting ready to go off, and I promised myself I wouldn't make it any longer than that. So if you want to help, if you want a copy of the script, if there's anything I can do to help you, final expense, Lead Eagles rocks. Justin is amazing. Uh, Guys, have an awesome night, and I'll talk to you soon.